Banks must be ready for Brexit. It will happen. Also, the EU and United Kingdom have agreed to discuss a possible transition period. We cannot be sure whether the transition period will happen. Thus, our expectation have not changed. Banks must continue to prepare for any outcome, including a hard Brexit. Any bank that wishes to relocate from the UK to the euro area should have submitted its license application already. But if it has not, it should do so by the end of the second quarter of 2018 at the latest. Both mentioned uh, the fact that the ECB bank supervision is in its fourth year of active supervision. So far, eight banks have taken formal steps to seek a new license, and for others are planning to significantly extend their activities in the euro area. But I can tell you we are in, um, yeah, how can I say this, in many, many meetings with um, yeah, more than 50 banks right now, and many of them are in a pre-application phase. We will continue to closely observe the Brexit negotiations. Depending on how the discussion on a transition period go, we may discuss with banks whether they might be granted more time to implement their relocation plans. But we will only do so with banks that have already presented high quality and credible, credible plans for the steady state situation. And Paul yesterday said that this is resulting effectively in the ECB putting pressure on them. Right. When preparing for Brexit, banks should be in mind something we keep repeating. We won't tolerate any empty shells. Banks must be real banks if they want to operate in the euro area. European banking supervision will keep a close eye on how incoming banks will organize their business in the euro area, how complex their structures will be, in particular when assessing their resolvability. Um, individual plans indiv uh, for MPL reduction are being examined. Some banks uh, are being set in most What counts for us as supervisor is that banks retain full control of the balance sheet risk within the euro area. Bank needs to establish sufficient local capability in areas such as pricing, trading, hedging, and risk management. Only then can they be deemed able to conduct their European business activities adequately.